Intentional communities like co-housing or eco-villages want to create a life of interconnectedness for the well-being of all neighbors and of future generations. Many intentional communities make their decisions by consensus. The underlying value is that everyone's voice matters. However, there's a cost to consensus. I have experienced, uh, you know, what's great about making decisions together, but even more so the frustration that's inherent in consensus-based decision-making. Meetings were very inefficient before we started dynamic governance. The theory is great that we all work together, but in practice, um, often there's the monkey wrench that gets thrown in and there aren't any mechanisms to resolve that. The model we were using at any point, someone could just say, I don't like that idea, and that idea would be shot down. We know what organizations are dealing with. Meetings seem to take forever and can be a frustrating experience. When all we want is to work towards a healthier and better way of living together. Dynamic governance combines what we love about living together with what we're longing for, effectiveness, fairness, and a sense of belonging. Things can change with dynamic governance. And that proposal has really unstuck us. Uh, the biggest thing is that we get more things done. We don't have a backlog of things that people are afraid to bring up. Um, the dynamic governance meeting process in particular um, is something that I deeply appreciate because it creates a sense of connectedness with the circles that I work with. In dynamic governance, smaller work units do effective work around what is relevant to them. Through a smart organizational structure, everyone knows where what they're doing plugs into the whole. Everyone can contribute and all know what the others are working on. So it's very clear what I commit to do, and it's very clear um, what the consequences are if I don't. Both inspiration and accountability go up with dynamic governance. One of the concepts in DG is evaluating a proposal by, is it good enough for now? Is it safe enough to try? In dynamic governance, we want to hear everyone's voice because we're convinced that everyone's input matters and makes our organization better. Overwhelmingly, the response was, this is the way to go. People are happy and more satisfied and getting more done. I don't know how you could do things otherwise. It, it's a place where people feel heard and supported. We are happy to be part of the movement towards the future and a smarter and more productive way of living together. Sociocracy Consulting Group is here if you want to learn more about dynamic governance.